Hey there, freedom lover. It's Jimmy Bob here. I want to show you something I think is absolutely ridiculous. Check out this weirdo hippie dippy commune place here called Punta Mona. Let's go see what them hippies who are trying to regenerate the planet are up to. So what's your role here, hippie? <laughs> well, my name's Sarah, and I'm the director of this place. My farm. <laughs> How many uh, types of fruits and veggies do you make here? We have over 250 varieties of fruit trees. We have, I've identified about 150 medicinal plants, wild mushrooms, primary rainforest, all kinds of like roots and vegetables and beans and different things that grow, greens. I don't know. Do you have any hamburgers? No hamburgers, but check it out. Fresh local fruit and bananas. Vanilla. Chocolate. Chocolate. Jack Cuban, Jack Pie. Pineapple. You can even do some. Yoga with the locals? What the hell? What else can y'all do at Punta Mona? So here at Punta Mona, you teach weirdo hippies how to take dead cow pasteurized land and turn it into regenerative forest. Why the hell would you want to do that? Because we want people to thrive and to be happy and healthy and connected with the land and connected with each other and learning. Where are all them hamburgers going to grow? We have veggie burgers. Yeah, I guess so, but <laughs> them don't make people sick. No, they don't. <laughs> what kind of crazy idea is that? I don't Gotta know. Gotta feed the system, girl. But we don't want to. We want to try to break out of the system. And do things a little different, slowly. Slow and small solutions are the principles of permaculture. Slowly break away. Sounds like a crazy hippie idea to me. You want to hear even more crazy hippie ideas? So, why are you building a food forest anyway? Well, we want to feed the world. We want to make sure people are healthy. We want to make sure the soil is healthy. We want to make sure that the water is running in its proper flow. Regenerating nature and taking care of others? What about maximizing profits? Well, there's all different kinds of capital, right? There's biological capital, spiritual capital. All I care about is money. money. Capital. All I care about is money. That's what Jim and Bob cares about. Well, America. You know what makes money after massive subsidies and chemical inputs? Monoculture crops. Well, what do you think about monoculture crops? I think monoculture crops are going to starve the world eventually. Right now, it's getting some calories in people's bellies, but it's not. So if monoculture ain't sustainable, what's the alternative? And what's permaculture then? Well, permaculture is working with a polyculture system. And so we have many different kinds of plants here. We have like, I don't know, over like 200 species of fruit trees. We have over 150 medicinal plants. We've identified all kinds of, you know, amazing like wild plants, roots, foods, spices, all kinds of stuff, plus primary rainforest. So nature thrives if you let multiple organisms coexist like in the wild, but how are you going to make money? So, let me get this straight. You're making all this here food, and you're not hoarding them seeds and modifying them genetically, and you don't want to control life itself. No, we don't want to control life itself. We don't want to hoard seeds. We want to spread the seeds. We want to make sure everything's thriving. That it's regenerative, we don't want to be sustainable, we want to be thrivable. You hippies need to learn a thing or two about business. <laughs> not only are these dirty hippies not trying to own life itself, but they're trying to use it to cure diseases? So you're growing all this here healthy food and herbs to cure people of their diseases. That's right. All the medicine you need can be found in the forest. Well, what if I want a band-aid solution whereby a small number of rich people can continue to profit off of my pain and suffering by selling me other drugs rather than getting cured? Did you ever take your, your hippies, did you ever take your business model into account before you came up with it? No, you didn't. It's a goddamn good thing you hippies don't have enough money to bribe a government organization to protect your profits. Have fruit. You can like a fruit salad? Oh no, it sounds fruit in me though. What kind of loony toony thinks that eating fruits and vegetables can cure or prevent diseases? Only brainwashing documentaries like Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead, 
Food Inc., The Truth About Cancer, Autoimmune Secrets, Forks Over Knives, The Magic Pill, Food Choices, What the Health, among many others that would make you think that you're part of nature rather than made of synthetic chemicals. Everybody knows that you can just pop a pill to feel better, but can you actually get medicine out of nature too? Check out this weirdo who turns plants into medicine. So I hear you're making these here tinctures out of plants and, and feeding them to people to make them healthy? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm making um, some herbal extracts. I make them all handmade myself for different stresses like immune system, and if you've got cold and flu or low in energy, things like that. What about making your hair all poopy like that? Yeah, I've got some stuff for that too. Oh wow, that sounds good. Oh yeah. Somebody needs to teach Captain Afro Hippie here about business and profitability. So can you patent that kind of stuff or what? I can't actually. What kind of business model is that? Pharmaceutical companies, how are they going to make money out of that? I don't know. I guess I got to work on that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Not very good for the economy. Feeding people all natural stuff? What kind of business model is that? I think it's a good one. I think I help people and get them not dependent on pharmaceuticals or any synthetic But how are you going to make them into repeat customers if they aren't dependent? Now do these thingies here have any side effects? Nope. Just try to keep all side effects out of all the products and all the herbs you use. If there ain't no side effects, how are you going to sell people more drugs? <laughs> I don't know. Same reaction, huh? You actually want to heal people so that they can't be slaves to the system no more? I guess so, yeah. Fucking hippies. Note that side effects from taking synthetic chemicals probably ain't intended, but they sure are good for business. Yeehaw! Hey there, hippie dippy. Come to Punta Mona and learn some herbiculture and some permaculture and some healthy stuff for you. And subscribe and share this here video. Business in the front, party in the back. Stay awesome.